Good morning. It is Monday, October 16th. We're going to do a weekly vlog, reading vlog as well. I don't know what, there was no reading, no vlog last week. I don't know what happened to the footage. It, some of it just disappeared. So um, I thought, yeah, I'm not going to bother because it's just like half not there. I know there was a lot more than that, that there. So I, I just don't know what happened. So uh, we'll try again today. Now, I watched Finders Beepers History Seekers last night yesterday's episode and I'm, I did mention it in the vlog that disappeared and they went to, and, and Matt went to this house in I think it's in Dartmoor but it's, it's sort of down that way and it was full of books literally the guy must have been selling them or had a bookshop that closed down and was trying to sell them online or something mainly I know that because the way his office was set up and the fact that he had a scale and you have to weigh books because books can be heavy so to generate the postage you have to do it so I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm watching it. every room you go through his books and there's Enid Blyton, there's, oh, there's all sorts of, of books from the 1800s up, probably beyond that. And it's such a shame to see all those books being wasted, just sitting there getting ruined, um, which is what Matt said but to me. It was like, I thought I had a lot of books. This was a veritable library. Although they do say you can class your book collection as a library if you have over a thousand books. Now I haven't scanned all mine, I'm scanning all of my books into something called library thing. Um, I've still got all my uh, plays, poetry books, music and Hollywood books, which is quite a lot, Jack the Ripper books, um, spiritualist like witchcraft and my history books as well to do. Um, and it's taken me ages. Uh, I might have a go at it tomorrow. I have done now all the Marilyn books, including all the Marilyn books that are fictional. Apart from ones I haven't read. Because <laughs> I tend, what I like to do is, um, with the stuff I've scanned, so the Marilyn books um, and things like Stephen King, Jodie Taylor, my permanent collection in the other room, um, because those have all been added to library thing, I put those on straight away. Now, um, when, when I've read one, I put it on and then it goes straight into the collection. So currently if I'm reading a Hollywood or a Ripper book, it doesn't get added to library thing straight away. So I'm just going to show you my... These are, and I need to sort this out because there's a load of lenses on. These are my Hollywood books. Well, some of them, because they go down past the bed uh, to the floor. There you go. Apart from those two shelves which got cameras on them. Now, they will be used for Hollywood books when I clear it. And then up here, these are my Jack the Ripper collection. The top two shelves are all Jack the Ripper related books. A lot of notebooks. <laughs> I'm starting to use all my notebooks now, one at a time for various eBay. And then we've got witchcraft and spiritualist books, ghost stories, biographies of other people and history books which carry on down to the bottom as well and then over here we've got my colouring books obviously up there we've got a bit of Marilyn so yeah and then these are all the books I haven't read and there's more in the other room so this is all Marilyn. Marilyn's shelves are a bit of a mess at the moment I've got to sort them out but yeah so that is um, that so <sighs> I've posted my items for today they've already been sorted. Um, I've done my listings for today. I have got some measuring to do so I'm going to go downstairs and do that. Um, I've done my accounts, all that's up to date and then of course I've got to go to Cardiff, to Cardiff City Auctions to pick up a couple of items. Whether or not I'll be able to sell it, who knows. Some of it's some um, vintage toy trains and they're more like for the kids ones. We will try and see if we can sell them. You never know, we might be able to, as long as they work and all the pieces are there. Then I bought a lot of uh, vintage photography slides, so uh, people have taken photographs to develop them, they've got slides. It also comes with a couple of slide projectors and an 8mm projector, which is interesting because I have got one that came in the last lot of cameras, but that one I, I'm not going to try just simply because the cord's damaged and I don't want to electrocute myself. So I'm going to have a look at the one that comes that I've got. My battery needs charging so I will charge this up while I am doing my listings, my drafts, my measuring. So I'll see you later. 
I've done all the measuring. I've got all that done and put everything up in the shed. There's two items I haven't measured because I've had to wash them. And I have measured the pink Marks and Spencers, but it still stinks of charity shop. Not as bad, but it still does. So I've put it in to soak with some smelly frag fabric softener. If I have a dry day tomorrow, if it's not raining, which it might do, probably will, I'll pop it out of the line and see if that'll help get rid of the stench of charity shop. Some charity shops just smell damp and musty and that's what that smells of and I'm not listing it. I've got it drafted ready, I've got the measurements ready so I can get it ready to go but I'm not putting it live until it's, it's not smelling of that anymore. So hopefully having it out on the line might help. Even if it rains on it, it'll probably help. Anyway, I'm off to Cardiff now to go and pick up these bits from the auction. I'll see you there. I'm here and I'm freezing. It's really cold today. Uh, Cardiff City Auctions. Here we are. Gonna go and get my things. So this is the first lot. Well, it's actually the second lot. This is the, the slides. Slide viewers, projectors. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna have so much fun going through all this, I tell you when I get home. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> so this one, I'm gonna pack this one up now. I'm back in the car. Oh. Now, I'm not doing very well, am I? Back in the car, I've loaded the car up, which is difficult because the boot's stuck, locked. Carl's gonna come and look at it later in the week for me. But I didn't show you the trains, I forgot, but I'll show you them later. They're only kids' trains, like Toot Toot Wind Up, which is cute. And, and something like Jennifer might wanna play with them, so I'm not worried about that. But I've never seen so many slides in my life. There must be thousands of them, absolutely thousands. Well, maybe a thousand. But that's cool. I'll see what I've got. I'll see if there's anything I want to keep, which would be very, very rare. And I can bundle them in lots of 100 and sell them for a tenner. There's easily 100 quid's worth there. And I only paid 40 quid for the lot. I've got slide carriers. I've got a slide projector, which I've wanted for a long time. I've got an 8mm projector, because I have got a roll of 8mm film on a projector, but I don't want to test that because it looks really dodgy. And... Um, I want to see what's on that film. It might be something really dodgy, but uh, yeah. I don't mind trying a bit of, of 8mm film making myself, but it's very, very expensive, so I might have to wait to get a job for that. Anyway, I'm going to head off home and I'll see you there when we unload it all. Hey everybody, I am absolutely shattered. I got home and uh, ran into some friends, Dan and Rufa, who run their own business. Well, Rufa well, runs their own business, he makes mugs and flyers and leaflets and things and stuff like that and coasters and they just ate in delivery of a massive palace of mugs a ton it literally weighs a ton and they wouldn't take it because the lorry couldn't get down their street so the lorry dropped it off in our street because they live in the street behind us and the poor burgers were like taking a few boxes up the hill at a time anyway i pulled in I was talking to Dan and he said, if I help you unload the stuff you got, we'll, can we load your car up and take it up? I said, yeah, it's fine, but the boot won't open. But we need to do a couple of trips, it's fine. So I helped them with that and I'm absolutely exhausted now. But we are going up the pub and they are going to let me have some boxes, some six by sixes for um, cameras and such like, uh, which is great. I've got one more job to do in a bit. I'll try and do that in a bit before I go out. And I've just... Uh, been bringing some stuff up the shed. There's still some stuff down in the house. There's three slide viewers in the house. As you can see, there's three bags there. I'm gonna have to empty it at some point because uh, I need those. Um, the three slide viewers, so I can test them and get them listed. Um, well, at least two of them. I want to keep one for myself. Um, and then I've been bringing all these up. I mean, look at them. There is there's a box here. Now, there's not many to be fair in this box, and these are a pre. And, uh, you know, the professional ones. I'll just have a look. I'll have to switch you off. Box is damaged. So I'm going to have to break into that because it's it's got wedged in. But looking at it, they are professional ones. Um, jointing in basalt. Something from the British Museum. So, yeah, you buy them for displays and talks. And there are some of those. This one says... I have no idea. I'll have a quick look, see what that is. Ducks 
geese and raptors looking at it. But there are so many in here. Like, there's only a few in that box, but there are so many in here. Look, I mean, there's boxes and boxes and boxes of them. And then we've got slide magazines, and this one's actually got something in it. So let's have a quick look, shall we? There's see the Hanamex one. Thoughts in there. There's some lights and some buildings and people and somebody cooking dinner and somebody plating their dinner. <laughs> it's an empty one. So these you would put through the slide projector. See, and what you would do is normally you'd have one of these for every, you know, box of slides. Holds 36, which is a 36 roll of film. And then you would just label them and you just put them straight in like that and you would you could keep them like that and you could even get cases to keep them in like that. Um, so we'll have to see. If I keep the slide projector, I'll probably keep the magazines. Um, I really want to see what my Marilyn auction photos look like projected onto the wall, especially the Kennedy dress. So I will have to try that at some point um, when I test the um, thing the projector it'll be upstairs but yeah it's uh, yeah right Whew. waiting to pick up jennifer now it's all going eh? i'm telling you most of the stuff's up the shed i've kept three slide viewers down some slides and as of yet i haven't taken the projectors up but i will i'm tired i want to go to sleep <laughs> Let's wait for Jennifer now. So we'll play a little bit of games on my phone and or read or something. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just too tired to think. I haven't done any reading today, so the reading vlog's out the window for the moment. But I will be reading at some point today, so when I get home probably. So we'll start, well, I'll let you know uh, how many pages I'm reading and how long I'm reading for and all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm off to just get wait for Jen now. So having a cheeky pint. Prince of Wales, I thought that lifted earlier. Shattered, I had to sleep on the sofa. And Jen kept jumping on me. You say hello, Jen. Yeah. Oh, look how many figures I did. You've made lots of figures. Oh gosh, loads. Are you gonna say hello? Hello. Hello, fans of Jennifer I'm and Mum. I'm up there. <laughs> oh, the lady. <laughs> She's happy, isn't she? Look I am doing this golden egg. <laughs> now um, Paul and Jen have gone to the chip shop with Dan and Alex to get some food because it's late um, and I'm going to start reading in a bit I'm going to start with the carpet people I'm on chapter 41 um, so I want to see how much I can get maybe maybe finish it tonight there's not much left it'd be nice if I could and then I can crack on with something else so yeah so now I'm going to do a bit of reading before they get home with the food it's quarter past ten and I've just had a shower, so I'm just going to get myself dry, dry my hair, which the cat's going to hate, because the cat's sitting up on the bed here, and she hates the sound of the hair But we've just been watching this programme that's on BBC this year, this month, for October, because it's Halloween month, and it's called uh, Uncanny. It's based on a, a podcast by Danny Robbins, in which he investigates supernatural events, like ghosts and stuff. And this first one was really interesting and quite scary. There were bits of it where you felt, ooh... So if you've got BBC iPlayer, um, if you've got it at all, go, go and watch it. It was really, really interesting, really good. Very dramatised, very dramatic, which is great for Halloween month. So, so this was just about a woman who saw a ghost in the house she was growing up and she said that she felt the ghost's name was Miss Howard. And it tells the story of what they discover when they're researching it next week's is about a poltergeist so that would work is actually this week because we're watching it on catch up obviously but i am now going to dry my hair annoy the cat and of course carry on reading a bit of this this is um the jack the, the ultimate companion of the legacy and legend of history's most notorious killer jack the ripper fact fiction legend selected by otto pensler so as you can see it's a very thick book and i am actually getting very close to the end but i only really read it when i'm drying my hair because it's a nice hardback so it stays open and I'm currently reading what is it called there's a lot of stories in here it's um a study in terror which is a lost ship about a lost Sherlock Holmes story or adventure um so yeah I'm going to carry on reading that for a bit I'll let you know how I get on uh once I've done dried my hair and terrified the poor cat so as you can see I have 
dried my hair and I managed to finish the Sherlock Holmes story um, A Study in Terror. It's really good. Uh, I enjoyed it. The cat didn't run away. She's actually still sitting on the bed. So that's good. She's getting used to the hair dryer. So, uh, excuse me, itchy nose. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my medication that I take at night time for various things. And then I am going to, I think I'm going to try and finish the carpet people tonight. There's not much of that left. And I want to see where it goes. It's it's very interesting. It's a, you know to read something early, and from the great master. And uh, yeah, and what a day! It's been, we've done a lot of filming today. I'm really proud of myself. So um, oh, it was a nice shower, but that, that flipping uncanny was a little bit spooky. But yeah, so we'll do it all again tomorrow, and I'll uh, lay out the day's plans as and when we get to them. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it's Tuesday. <sighs> Excuse me. Last night I finished the carpet, people. Hooray! Excuse me. <sighs> um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was sweet, it was fun. And I read one person from this book, and that was enough because I was tired, I went to sleep. Uh, today's plan is to first of all start doing some eBay stuff. And do some, I've got some drafts to do. Ah, oh, there's the pink book. I knew it was here somewhere. Um, so I've got some drafts to do. So I'm going to go and do those first. Get some listings up. Then I'm going to try and test the slide viewers. Um, because then I, if some of the slide viewers work, I can get them. I can list two of them. I want to keep one for myself. But I will list the two. Um, get them photographed and drafted. First, oh, I'm shattered. Absolutely tired. Ugh. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, so that's the plan is just to get these um, some drafters on. I got some washing in the machine. One is the dress I rewashed and my coat. They need to be put on the line. It's not going to rain today, so I will be going back downstairs in a bit to put them on the line. Just got to give them time to finish. Um, and that's it really. I haven't got much planned. Um, I might have a quick look through. There's some 8mm uh, heavy uh, cameras there. So I might have a look at maybe drafting and, and, and testing them and see if I can get them working. Get them listed and, and stuff like that. Get that. So tomorrow I can have a day of photography on the table. That's the plan, I think. Mm, yeah. Right, I'm going to go and crack on. I've done some eBay, not all of it, but I've done, got a load of drafts ready to go live. There's a few I need to fiddle with. I think there's still some photos on my camera that need to go up. <sighs> I don't know, but I'll look at that later. But I'm having a break, I'm going to have a cup of tea, um, put the TV on, and I'm going to put the washing away because there's so much of it. And then when I've done that, I'm going to update my reading journal. Uh, and then I'm going to go and empty the dishwasher and put all the dirty stuff in the dishwasher to be washed. So. A lot of household chores to be done today, so I have done a bit of eBay, which is the main thing. Um, I'm going to try and test those slide viewers today as well. I found a char I found a cable for them. There is a, a transformer cable for them, so I can plug them into the mains instead. Charge, change them that way. The two Votax ones, um, as long as they're working, then I'll make sure there's no batteries inside. Oh God, I'm tired, and I will list them. Well, I'm going to keep one for me. At some point I will test the slide projector, probably project it against the wall over there. I would like to see, um, just because it's cream, it's not white but it's cream, I would like to see my Marilyn auction slides big. I've never seen them, I've only seen the small prints and stuff. I can't stop yawning, I don't know why. Anyway. And then Paul said, I thought you were asleep, you were so quiet out there. I said, no, I was just pottering, I was doing some drafts. And it takes a long time because you have to put them all on. And then I can't see where you put the SKU number on the website. So I have to put that on on the app. And I'm here, there and everywhere. I'm trying to set up Nielsen scanning app. And that's not working. So I've had to email them for assistance. And yeah, so I'm going to crack on uh, with putting the washing away, which is like my favourite job because I have to do it. Uh, it's just one of the things. Paul tends to do the washing up in the trash. Uh, we both do the recycling. 
I do all the washing for the three of us and put it away, so that's a hell of a big job. There's a load of washing up here to go, downstairs, and it just makes me so tired. <sighs> Uh, uh, yeah, so I did hang out um, on the line of dress, smelt, the one that smelt charity shop. I've hung it on the line now because it's really nice out there today. It's cold, but it's sunny. And my raincoat because it smelt a bit musty. It needed washing. So I've washed that as well. And it's hanging up outside. Lovely. So I'm going to crack on. See you in a bit. Hi everybody! I've put the washing away. It took long enough. I've got some washing to go down because there's always some to go down from up here. I am watching Steve Donahue on Booktube, on YouTube Booktube, because he talks about books and I was in the mood for a bit of bookishness because I haven't got enough books to read, obviously. I have and I'm trying to read them. Like I said, I did finish Terry Pratchett last night, so I'm going to update my journal. Now, I was looking for a book for next year's journal. Uh, reading journal because I'm going to change it up next year and they didn't have this one anymore so I've had it two years and now they haven't got it so I ordered this sort of it is hardback but it's got soft it's nice um, it's a lot thicker which will be interesting but that means I can write a bit more about each book also I'm adding more books all the time to the collection as you know um, even though I'm trying to read them so that's fine I'm going to set it up slightly differently, so I'm, I'm not going to do it now, I might start doing a little bit of it, but what I'm going to do is, instead of having the Goodreads Challenge at the front, I'm going to have the TBR, like I used to. The only thing that means is I can't do the Goodreads Challenge until the new year, can't set it up, because I don't know how many pages the TBR is going to take up. So what I'm thinking is, in December, I'll, I'm getting three books for Christmas, so... What I might do is once we get to Christmas and I get the books I get at Christmas, I'm going to want to read those straight away because they, who they're by. I think what I'll do is I will, once we get to there, I will do the, the TBR, so like transferring it over. Um, but I won't add on any of the books I've added this year because I can then see if I, you know, if I read those three and I want something else and I haven't got anything, I can pick one of the ones I've got this year as well. So I'm going to update the journal now. Um, what time is it? It's half past twelve, so I'm going to go down for some lunch soon. Um, tired, actually shattered, but that's okay. I want to do the dishwasher as well, so I'm going to go down a bit and do that. I can do that when I'm doing my lunch. So, happy though. That's good. So uh, it's uh, almost time to pick up Jennifer, the ice cream van's here, so I did say we'd have an ice cream if uh, it was here, which it is. I've read a bit of Florence, Florence today, um, but I brought a little woman with me because it fits my bag better. So I'm going to have a little read now before I actually go and get her. So it's Tuesday evening, I've read a little bit of uh, Florence, Lawrence. I've read a little bit of Little Women, not a lot, but I will be reading when I go to bed. If you're wondering why I haven't seen Jennifer today, she's fine. She's upstairs and Daddy's reading to her fantastic Mr Fox. But at the moment she's got a stinking cold and to be fair she wasn't feeling very well. So it's not fair on her to put her on video when she's not feeling her best. So I thought we'll just leave it for tonight and see how she's doing tomorrow. She wants to go to school tomorrow. I mean she's got a terrible cold. She was feeling sick earlier. But... Oh, um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, so she's she's gone up to bed. Paul's going to read to her. Um, hopefully she'll be better tomorrow. She wants to go tomorrow because it's PE day. She loves PE. Actually, she just loves school full stop. So I'm just sitting here playing a game on my phone. I'm going to watch some videos. And um, when she's gone to sleep, I'm going to go upstairs to read. I am so getting tired. So it won't be a late night. I've just... Has it finished yet? Yeah, I should have... No, it finishes at quarter past. I've got an auction finishing at quarter past eight. Um, of rolls of film, so that's been getting bids throughout the night. It's on something like twenty-three pound now, which I'm happy with. It. If it stops there, I'm happy. <coughs> that will be my listings paid for for the month on that. So that's good. I've just got to crack on with it. So anyway, I'm going to uh, carry on doing what I was doing. Find something to watch. Watch Stephen Donahue. Sorry about that. Don't know what happened. Then. It is Wednesday. The 18th of October, gosh, it's going fast, isn't it? Just going to get into my laptop. 
I have uh, packed up my orders for today. I had obviously some film ending on auction yesterday and today I, I also had a sale in the night for a skirt. So I've packed that up. I've got a few things to measure downstairs. Well, two things. <sighs> two dresses, um, which I will do later. What I want to do is I just want to try and get the rest of the stuff that needs drafting, drafted. If that makes sense. It's warm in here. I'm going to put the fan on in a minute. It's because we've had the heating on and it gets very warm. It's right behind the desk where I'm sitting. So I'm melting now. Never mind. Anyway, so I am going to have a quick look at my uh, eBay that I need to do. See what I can get, if I can get it all drafted. So the, once it's drafted, I don't have to worry about it. I just put it live then. Get some measuring done. I'm going to go and test the slide viewers because there's three of those. One I want to keep if possible. I have brought up with me a 8mm film camera which I'm going to look at in a minute and see if I can figure out if it's working because that can be listed if it is. I've got another one in the shed. I've got one up there listed already but 8mm is yes, very, very expensive to do. I would like to do it myself. <sighs> but, excuse me for your warning, I am so tired. I don't know why, I just am. Anyway, I'm going to pop off and see what I can get up with. Okay, so I've done the listings and I've packed two items. I have had another sale. It is after 10 o'clock, so I don't have to post it, but I probably will. Um, I'll go and get it in a minute. I'm going to do some filming now. I'm going to carry on filming my coloured chat, which you'll have seen by the time this video goes up anyway. And I might do a bit of reading before I go out. I'm going down to Mum's to have lunch with my mum and dad today. I'm thinking. Tested the two slide, two of the three, well, I've tested the slide viewers, two of them work, the other one's not so good. They should sell both for around £15 each, which is great because I only paid 40 for them. So that's most of that money back. And then all I've got to do is try and sell some of the slides in packs of 100 is what I will do. Once I've looked at them all. Now, with regards to the slide projector and the 8mm projector, they are very heavy. Um, so I might, I'm going to test the slide projector and I might keep that and I might just sell, I don't know what to do with the 8mm one again, it's, it's, you can ship it, I just don't want to be bothered with it. So yeah, now I've tested one of my um, 8mm cameras, I can't get it to, to work, I've tried and I've, I've watched videos on it and it's, the button's not working, it might be just a little bit tight so i put some WD-40 in it, give it a lubrication, see what happens, because the thing is, it's scrap metal otherwise, because it's heavy. And it can go to the scrappies, I know a load of them, so I know they'd appreciate it. So I'm not worried about it at all. Um, I'll get my money back, I've still got to test the, the toy trains. I might start that tomorrow, although I have got the doctors tomorrow, so it's going, I'm going to be very limited on what I can do. Anyway, I'm going to crack on making a colouring chat, and I'll see you later, when we might do either some colouring or some reading. Up the shed again now, just picking that order that came in, just so I can get it delivered, you know, sent off. Um, oh, these slides, I'm going to have to go for them soon. i got to test those games, I'll just take them down one at a time and test those um, trains. I've got some games I want to try and list there. That pair of shoes, I've got to email the guy again because I'm messaging him and I'm not going anywhere. They, it's eBay closed down the case. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with it. Um, it's raining. We've got a storm coming in. Storm Babette is coming in tonight. This is the first bit of it. We're going to have a couple of days of really horrible weather. Which is not good because I want to go sorting on Friday. Because um, it's, it's not so much fun on your own trying to carry loads of stuff. Anyway, I'm going to carry on, get this packed up, and then I'm off to my mum and dad's. So I've just gone and dropped off my post. I'm going to mark them as a match in a minute. I've also got Jennifer a donut because she wanted a donut today. So it's cheaper if I go in myself. If I go in with her, there'll be a drink and there'll be a sausage roll. This way, it's just some donuts. And then I popped into the charity shop to have a quick look and I bought four books because they're 25p each. There wasn't much else in there that I fancied, so I've got four and that's fine. I take some down tomorrow. I'll take some that I've read that mum has read in and only before five because most of I've got mum hasn't read so <sighs> I am so tired
I can't wait to get home and I'll probably crash on the sofa. But like I said, I'm going to mark those red, put those four new books on my TBR and then I'm going to read my book for a bit. Good morning everybody. It is Thursday the 19th, I think. Yeah, the 19th of October. I am really tired so I didn't sleep very well. I'm not doing much this morning. I've done my drafting and listing that I've had to do. Um, I'm going to try and experiment with the postage and try and get the postage down. I'm going to offer free postage on certain items just to see if I can kick a few more sales. I'm going to start sending every all the clothing anyway by every just simply because it's cheaper. It's like three forty nine for a small parcel. Um... on oh sorry royal mail and it's something like two pounds something 290 on every i don't think there's much difference between what they call postable and large letter i don't think there's a lot of difference between that large letters are 220 now on royal mail which is high i'm not sure what they are on the other basically postable is what you put through your letterbox so we'll see. Anyway, um, I am going to crack on. I'm not, I've got much plans for today because I'm so tired. I do have to go to the doctor's later to have my blood pressure done. So joy. Keep an eye on the time for that. And I do want to clear off the coffee table so I can get to the printer because I do have some stuff to print. And I'm not doing it because, yeah, stuff in a way. So I'm going to try and do that. And then when I come back from the doctors, I'm actually going to go back to bed and have a sleep until it's time to get Jen or till I decide I want some food. Because I am absolutely shattered. So I'm going to crack on and I'll see you later. Okay, I am now going to get ready to go to the doctors because I will go there soon. Last night, just an update on the reading vlog. I finished reading Florence Thomas. Florence Thomas. Florence Loris. Lawrence, the first movie star by Kelly R. R, R. Brown absolutely loved it. It was full of triumph and tragedy. Um, obviously, I'll do a full wrap up at the end of the month when I do my reading wrap up because you will have a haul because I've bought some books second hand mostly, but some some new ones too. Um, and you'll have a, a big haul and a nice wrap up. Um, I'm going to try and finish. Um, I've got the three big books now, three main books now, which are Little Women, Songs of Willow Frost and Hollywood Book of Death. I am going to try and finish the Hollywood Book of Death, but I still got quite a bit to go. But while I'm at the doctor's, I'm going to read Little Women just because it fits in my bag nicely. So I'm going to go and I'll see you later. Here we are again. Jennifer's home from school, aren't you, Jen? Jen? You want to say hello? As you can see, she's got a very sore nose. Don't do that, you'll make it worse. Um, she's just having some cereal. You always have cereal after school, don't you? Because you get hungry. So, like I said, I'd finished. I never stop eating. You never do stop eating. I think you've got a runny bit. Wipe your nose, Jen. Get tissue. Wipe your nose. Mm -hmm. I finished Florence Lawrence. Get her name right this time. And now I'm going to try and read a bit of this one. See if I can't get this one finished. And off the list, because we're slowly getting there. Jennifer's throwing Daddy's Kindle on the floor. No, she knocked it. Sorry, I got it. So I'm going to do that while Jennifer's eating her cereal. So we'll see how we get on. Thursday night and we're in bed. Me and Jen. She's here somewhere. Because Paul's out watching Shed 7 tonight in Cardiff. So she's going to watch TV for a bit. It's not quite bedtime. But... Well, I could go to sleep. And I'm going to snuggle down and read my book for a bit. I haven't really read much today, but I'm going to crack on now and uh, see how much I can get through. It's Friday afternoon and I'm about to take my dad to shopping. Still can't open the boot. A uh, mechanic hopes to come up on Sunday to do it. He says he's silly busy at work at the moment and he's been in work till 8 o'clock every night. I do feel for him, it's hard going. Me, I can just stop and do nothing. Today I haven't done anything. Paul had the day off. I didn't sleep very well, so I went back to bed. I've packed up now the orders I've got. And I had some shoes returned to me because they said the, the buyer wouldn't take them. He's denied that, so I said, don't worry. I'll pop, I've gone back. I will pop them back in the post to you tonight. So that's what I'm doing. They're, they're ready to go. Um, yeah. I haven't read anything yet today. 
Although I do have my Kindle with me so I can read my Agatha Christie later on. It's not my Oasis, I just don't know where that's gone. I've put all the slides that I bought on Monday into all the boxes of slides into one bag because it was over two so it wouldn't be so heavy to carry from the auction house because Monday my job is to be photographing lots of um, bits and pieces that are at home I might get some clothing tomorrow because uh, we were going up town with Jen it won't be too much because she hates being stuck in the charity shops all the time uh, but I will have a look and get what I can and I'm going to yeah I'm going to check through all the slides because I don't want to be sending people blank slides with nothing on them. I also want to check that there's nobody famous on there or anybody interesting because if there is, I might want to keep that. I don't think there is. They're mostly from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, maybe 90s. But they, uh, some of them are really interesting. Some of, them like some of the 70s ones with the hairstyles and, and and the 80s, of course. And the Christmas decorations are so funny. Anyway, I'm going to go because my dad will be out in a minute, and going to be an easy night tonight. It's Friday afternoon, look who's home from school. Oh, me. Say hello? I got dressed. She gets changed. She's very good like that now, aren't you? Mm. I get and um, she's got some cereal because she's always hungry oh, when she gets home from school. She's got some hoops. I never stop eating. You know, you'll eat all day, you will. You don't mm. stop eating when you get home. Yeah, you're a bit sore under there from your cold, aren't you? It doesn't feel anything. Does it all right now? It's not hurting? Yeah, it's yeah not good. Hurting. Hey, that's good. So, yeah, it's packed off, sent off me thingy what's it packages. I'm going to sit and colour I saw, a picture I, in a minute before I do some reading. I, what? I saw something in your drawer. Hmm. I. Or I had something in your drawer that I wanted to keep. Was it? <laughs> you can have those if you want, sweeties. Can Fine. I, I show the fans. Silly girl. Something. Oh gosh, she wants to show the fans something. What are you I showing the fans? What is it? Yes. Jelly tarts. You yes. don't like those though. Oh, you. I found them in there. I know. Daddy snacks on them at night sometimes. Ah, Daddy. <laughs> ah. He's allowed. Yes. Same reason. Same thing as I've got gummies in the car for when I'm driving, and I, Daddy. <laughs> Mm. We have a gummy in the car every now and again, don't we? Yeah. yeah. And tomorrow, Jennifer wants to go up the tower, don't you? No. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What do, why do you want to go up the tower, Jen? Because uh, because we've never been. We have been. We just haven't been for a while. Yes, yeah, a long time. A long time. She wants to go to McDonald's and play on the iPads, really. Yes, handprints and things all over the wall. We're going to paint that at some point. <laughs> Don't show them the sharpener. Don't show them the sharpener? <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> that sharpener on the wall. What sharpener on the wall? This one. Okay, I won't, I won't, I won't. Oh, Sharpie on the wall. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah. Naughty. Naughty girl. Anyway, uh, that's enough for now. Um, <laughs> gonna read later. <laughs> Jennifer loves you. <laughs> Friday night, Jennifer's in her own room reading to herself. Bless her. It's so sweet that she wants to do that. She has been next door at Jess's because um, they've got two puppies. And we went over to see them and she, she practically ignored the puppies while we were over there. And uh, was playing with Jess's daughter Sienna. And then we came back home because oh, I was knackered, had things to do. And wanted to watch some TV <laughs> without Jen. So we started watching Uncanny, which we'll finish tomorrow night probably. And uh, she had pizza with, with Sienna. Um, and tomorrow, um, Jess is out, so I said we'd uh, see her at her dad's and we'll pop in and check on the dogs for her throughout the night until about 11. And then, you know, they'll be all right till she gets in. So she would give us a key. It's all good. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go to sleep myself. I might read for a little bit, but I'm pretty much going to go to sleep. I haven't read anything today, so I'm playing games on my phone. And colouring. I've been colouring. That was fun. I, did, I finished two pictures off, so that's good. So I'll add them to my book and uh, uh, oh, do you know what? I'm not with it today. Okay, now we might go into town tomorrow. I've got the tower as Jen calls it, so have a look round. Take you with me. It's. Uh, I'm just so tired today, but I'm happy. A glass of wine as well, if I am even more tired. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, it is Saturday and 
I'm still really tired, but Jennifer wants to go out, so we're going to pop up to town, have a look around, might get a few items, you never know, and uh, have a McDonald's probably. Um, just tired. Um, yeah, but it's all good, we're going to be alright, so we're going to pop into town, so I'll take you with me, if I remember I'll do some vlogging, because you know what I'm like, I'm hopeless. Well, we made it out to Newport. We're in Lisa's kitchen and after lunch. We were going to go to the other place for the big M's, but it was full. So we came here instead today and we're going to have, well, Jennifer's having sausage, beans and mash and we're having chilli and chips. Right now she's playing with some squishy toy from the Mandalorian. I have no idea who to show it. Let's show it like that then. Um, if you know who that is, let us know because we don't have Disney Plus so we don't watch the Mandalorian. But we do come here because we've got lots of Maryland, which we love. It's really sticky, isn't it? Sticky on the wall. Yay! Um, oh my god, Keep sticking it to the wall. Anyway, I am looking forward to trying my lunch. There you go, he's standing on the wall. <laughs> Hello everybody, it is Sunday afternoon. We've been shopping today. Jennifer's drawing, aren't you? Yeah, we've got some Christmas baubles to decorate while we're on half term in a week or so's time, aren't we? We're going to make a video about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, Stalin, they're just there on the table. Oh, that's empty. Where'd that new box go? Oh, here it is. So, so we're going to do those, aren't we? We're going to do some colouring as well on camera. We'll make lots of videos that week for you. It's hard to do it any other time. We're going to relegate Daddy to the office upstairs where Mummy works. Here you are, sweetheart. Um, I've got a couple of books off my mum I haven't read that dad, my dad got for her over the Tesco's charity shelf to add to my ever-growing TBR. And I'm just going to chill out Sunday afternoon. I've got some washing to do. I don't need the dirty tissue, Dan. Put it in the bin. You say hello? Hello. Jennifer's still got a bit of a cold, haven't you? But it's not as bad. Are you enjoying your drawing? Are you going to show them your drawing? That's good though. Oh, she's just drawing. She loves drawing and colouring, don't you, Jen? That's, oh, watch what you're doing with that pen. I don't want pen on this blanket. Thank you. Put the top on. It. Who is it? Ryan. It's Ryan from Ryan's World. Let's have a look. There. I didn't even finish. She hasn't it. finished it yet. So you go and finish your picture, uh, and we'll have another look at it later. Uh, so Sunday night. Um, just getting ready for bed. So I read for around seven hours this week, which is really good. And I finished three books and read the short Agatha Christie story that I was reading for my Agatha Christie of the month. So that's not too bad. Um, I might read a bit tonight, but I won't be timing it now. We will, however, do this again. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we're going to pick up Dad's new car, so I'll show you that a bit later. Bye for now.